Hi, uh, good evening to all. Now let me uh, proceed further and share a paper with all of you, wherein um, you know I'll be discussing about the open source tools for data mining, as has been uh, given to us by Blas Zupin. Um, I should say he is from Slovenia, and Zenas Demsar uh, from Houston, uh, Texas, USA. Now this paper I have taken it from um, Elsevier. Number one, Clinics in Laboratory Medicine, published in 2008. Now, uh, this is uh, one of the papers where I was able to understand uh, the importance of the open source tools for data mining, number one, and uh, to uh, see, uh, you know, from 2008, how many um, softwares, uh, especially the open source tools are available to us. Now, as I proceed uh, further, uh, you will see the uh, authors have given given us very good introduction about the data mining suites especially it's not just a collection of uh, one particular software i would say suite is a collection of uh, different different software so here they are telling you that yes um uh, you know if you are taking care about the i would say the software then they are uh, talking about an underline and i can show it to you uh, where all things they are available uh, uh, let's see yes here we are they are uh, talking about uh, here ways yes to create the um, I would say modern data mining suites which offer uh, simplicity in deployment number one integration of excellent visualization tools for exploratory uh, data mining can you believe that they are not talking about factor analysis they're talking about exploratory data mining and for those of uh, you know who are interested with some programming background the flexibility of crafting new ways to analyze the data and adapting the algorithm now, you see this is the reason why i was interested um, to pick up uh, this particular paper that yes uh, if we know a little bit of the programming part though i'm not um, showcasing any kind of a programming however uh, what i wanted to show is basically the importance of the algorithm out here then um, you will see they go further within data mining there's a group of tools that have been developed by research community and data analysis enthusiasts now you see this is one another reason i would say that has been taken up and they are offered free of charge using one of the existing open source licenses now uh, op now here they have discussed the open source development model usually means that the tool is a result of a community effort now you see this is the importance of the um, teamwork that we are talking about it's not just one or two individuals that we need to understand it's basically and number two not necessarily supported by a single institution but instead the result of the contribution of um, uh, from an international and informal development team so you see um, and nowadays when I uh, you know we, we would think that yes we can form a community then uh, you know some of the programmers are there quality analysts are present or data analysts are present all of us together we can come up as a community and we can develop our own uh, model also for the software so uh, what i mean to say is that in data mining also similar things had taken up and you will see um, that yes uh, majority of them have been uh, able to um, you know go ahead develop those uh, suites and then give it to us also so, so that we can use them now here being open source so this is another definition which i was just um, reading out for somebody so someone uh, some of you who are interested you can definitely go ahead and um, pick up this particular paper and you can understand if you are interested with the historical perspective of the uh, uh, tools that we are using so here evolution of the open source data mining tools how they started off the uh, machine learning program with unix then they uh, the moment they um, entered into the coding system what kind of a coding then how they were planning to do the languages especially with perl um, then i would say c c plus plus then later on they moved towards the java all those things they have um, mentioned about it is just um, good to know understanding part of it now here comes the basic thing for which i 
I am presenting uh, this particular paper so that uh, all of you can also go through and see from 2008 which of these uh, softwares have been in uh, usage for data binding so first and foremost they are talking about flexibility and extensibility in analysis software comes through uh, existing code to develop or extend one's own so for example Veka which is well documented uh, Java based functions and the classes I mean if you know a little bit of uh, again I'm talking about the programming you will understand that yes it's a, a beautiful product similarly R now, R is something, uh, you know, I, I never knew. However, the day I was introduced to it, I was very excited and slowly I picked it up so that I can understand and I can use it. Now, um, majority of my analysis is being taken care of by R itself. Now, similarly, this is a question that was raised by the authors. Why uh, mine medical data with open source tools? Now, this is for the data security because it's a medical data. Patients might uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, um, take a legal action against the medical team saying that how can you go ahead and, uh, you know, just give away a data outside uh, for the open source tool. Now, for me, I am extending from the medical uh, data to generalizing further why, first of all, any kind of a data with the open source tools. So that's the question that um, that was raised out and I was wondering can we really do it so here comes in first open source uh, these are the potential shortcomings uh, you know let me uh, showcase to you what they are telling you the potential uh, shortcomings uh, for uh, <clears throat> several advantages offered uh, by the open source um, i would say data mining tools is this one first open source data mining suites are free they may incorporate uh, new experimental techniques including some in prototype type form and may address emerging problems sooner than the commercial software so uh, is this the case with R I haven't seen with Python no nothing of that sort next one uh, this feature is uh, particularly again important in a uh, medical uh, biomedical medicine that's what they are telling to you biomedicine with a recent emergence of genome scale data sets and new kind of data integrated within the analysis schemata provided that a large and diverse community is working with a tool the setup techniques it may offer can be large thus they say that uh, address range of problems so this is another uh, question that they have picked up for uh, themselves and they said that uh, sorry we cannot use the open access now uh, this is uh, basically because they come from the bi biomedical area therefore however what about us now the next one is research oriented um, biomedical groups can also see the um, direct availability uh, availability of the direct access to code and components uh, which becomes very difficult modern scripting languages are uh, particularly strong um, in this type of ad hoc integration then documentation for the software may not be polished um, you know as the commercial packages now th this could be the one reason why uh, majority of us would like to purchase the uh, softwares and go ahead and uh, start utilizing them then they are even saying that it is available in many forms and outside the tutorial includes additional tutorials and use uh, cases written by enthusiasts um, outside the code development team then they are saying that finally this is another reason that has come up there is a use user support which is different uh, for open source than for the commercial packages for example if i have purchased spss or amos or let's say even excel uh, stat or smart pls i know uh, that there is a dedicated person who is always ready to uh, support me or provide some kind of a help uh, with respect to some technical problem uh, you know or any other issue that has come up in so uh, you know these are some of the things you can read it out what i'm more more interested in giving you the list so open source data mining toolbox a wish list so you can read what they are telling us uh, so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, users they have given which are very simple ones anybody who has got the access to this particular paper can read it uh, coming to the 
sources now that's what i would like to say here first and foremost open source data mining suites the most popular packages seems to be weka and r so that is uh, why i'm more keen introduced uh, weka as a data mining tool and a separate playlist is being uploaded from my side and on r definitely yes i have already begun and uh, you know we can see uh, the initial phases i'm just showcasing to you how it looks like then i am planning to go ahead with the explanation of the concepts as well as the implementation of the data analysis so that we can understand what data mining is all about and how to interpret and even uh, code them in our own publications so here is something that is present then we can even go to the pages like um, kd nuggets which is there or uh, even the um, i would say open directory for more uh, comprehensive um details that are needed for the data mining tools so topmost you can see we have got r now i don't have to introduce much about r however r is one popular tool which has been used extensively for data mining and i myself am dedicated to um, r and you can see a beautiful dendrogram now this kind of a dendrogram um, uh, you know only in r or through i would say python languages these two languages programming languages uh, allows uh, us to proceed further to find out the relationship between um, different kind of respondents or variables we can understand and we can carry forward now i'll be uh, showcasing to you once we start off with the data and the data mining techniques then you would be seeing it the second most which i really love it again hmm, i'm also interested in going through this one that is tenagra now this has been taken by arak university and it's a dan, uh, data mining suite again built around a graphical user interface a gui and you can see that yes it's also uh, really helps you out uh, you know with the advanced uh, visualization especially so again uh, i'll be showcasing even this one also in depth and we can uh, study further as to how we can uh, utilize certain tools and what kind of uh, data um, you know how to go head and understand data in depth that's what i mean to tell you now uh, you know i'm not going to read line by line my interest is in giving you now similarly if you um, know that yes there are concepts of uh, networking classifiers algorithms then exploratory exploring your data those kind of a things if you are interested then definitely yes weka orange and tenagra are the uh, ones that really helps you to proceed for now in the same manner you can uh, go ahead and you can see weka uh, separate playlist from my side is being taken care of and you can have a look at it and see how nicely the data is being um, understood um, and you know how you can go ahead and know more uh, details about your own data so that's one thing then yale is another one the full form of yale is yet another learning environment it's not the yale university that you see in america this is basically uh, the one that uh, they have given the full form of it yet another learning environment this is also a good one and uh, we will see uh, what kind of differences can be seen because that's another agenda of mine uh, wherein i'm trying to uh, see the differences between all the softwares uh, here they have mentioned i think five or six of them and this is uh, we have seen our we have uh, looked at weka then they have talked about orange now they are talking about um uh, what was the other one that we had yale this is the fourth one that we have seen and uh, apart from these uh, you can even have a look at a uh, different kind i mean they have discussed a lot about um how it appears to be what you are supposed to do how to understand the data what kind of a things now the next one that they are coming up is with nine this is the fourth one so we have got r then i have showed you weka orange then a uh, yale you have seen now the fifth one uh, according to me this is the fifth one however as per their presentation this is the fourth one that is on nine nine is um you know it gives you uh, you need to have lots of patience for to understand how to work on this particular uh, software otherwise visualities that you can really get are awesome 
with a lot and especially um, you know unless and until um, you are i mean if you are interested in qualitative data analysis nine requires a lot of patience and the codings that you can do are literally awesome I mean the details that are being given, though uh, it has not kicked off so well as uh, with NVivo or Atlas TI or Rapid Miner or to that sake even Max QDA also. Now apart from uh, Nine, these people have even um, I think there is one more. If I'm not yes, there comes Orange. So you can see Orange um, is again one of the tool uh, which has become very popular. I would say in the domain of data mining and here they have showcased to you in a very nice manner how to uh, go ahead with um, orange and uh, you know really understand the machine learning algorithms over there especially with the data mining so you know you can um, enter into these kind of a thing so my basic intention to introduce this particular paper is to make you understand that yes which are the popular um, software that are open sources which are available so sixth one is gobi um, though i thought it should be gobi g rather than gobi and now here they have given to you this one also uh, this again gives you a, a lot of importance to networking uh, kind of analysis you can go ahead you can plot a lot though it is a bit complicated in the sense that uh, you have to be very careful with the launching and installations about it and then you can even use here uh, especially this is the time for online webinars you can really showcase it uh, with these kind of presentations so i think uh, public would be really be interested to understand and go forward so i think the colorful things are also coming in so six of the uh, softwares are the ones that has been uh, showcased in this particular paper and the uh, authors have given to us enough of justification as to why uh, these tools should be used especially for the data mining so let me uh, proceed further with yet another paper uh, which gives you a very good comparisons between the various uh, suites or the softwares or the tools that are available for data mining till then thanks and take care bye Bye.